What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be continuing the build of the better rack. Alright guys, so we're going to be continuing the better rack build today. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to time lapse the entire video, just set it to music. Um, I'm going to try not to talk in it and just build so that you guys can watch me build this thing. Um, I have four 10 gallon tanks total. Uh, we're going to plastic dip the back of them. Um, we're going to get them all set up. I've got black diamond blasting sand. I've got an air pump, all the airline, all the filters, everything that I need to get these tanks up and running and ready for fish. Um, so we're just going to take everything out to the kitchen and we're going to start building this thing up. So enjoy the video.
All right, guys, so my plan for this video was to just build and not talk, um, just to be, you know, a little bit different than the norm. Um, but that's not the case, because I just saw something that I want to show you guys. So all four of these 10-gallon tanks are Aquion tanks. And I want to show you guys something that I notice with the glass. So spin the camera around, and I'll show you. All right, guys, so something I noticed was... These tanks I got at Petco, and I got them at the dollar per gallon sale. And a lot of people say that the manufacturers cut corners when it comes to dollar per gallon sales. I'm a firm believer of this because I've seen things in the past, and I found a perfect example to show you guys. Um, so if we look at these tanks, they all look exactly the same. The one thing I noticed when I bought them is two of them were a lot dirtier than the other two, right? Which means the cleaner ones were newer in the store for the dollar per gallon sale. Now, this is what I wanna show you guys. The first thing I noticed was one tank is a little bit taller than the other one. And here's the other thing. Look at the glass thickness. This tank here is much, much thicker glass. Well, not a whole lot. Right, maybe a third thicker, but this was the dirty tank, and this was the clean one. And I noticed the same thing with these ones. One tank is a little bit taller than the other one, and the tank that's taller, just like this one up here with the thicker glass, this tank is taller. Look at the glass thickness. These are the ones that are made for normal sale. These are the dollar per gallon sale tanks. You can see, right? So just the glass thickness and the workmanship. This one's a lot cleaner. This one's a lot thicker, put together a lot more hastily. And the glass thickness is much different, which actually ends up causing the height to be a little bit different because of the way they cut them. So just wanted to show you guys that. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the build for right now. This was basically uh, part two of the build. Um, so we got four tanks set up. Uh, we're going to get them cycling. I already have a bunch of these sponge filters already cycled in the fish room, so I'm just going to take sponges and move them around. That way I have cycled tanks here right ready to go. Um, we are going to scape these and stock these in another video. Um, that'll probably be part three, and then part four is going to be me doing the wood on the outside of this um, enclosing it all so all you can see is through the front of the tanks and I think that's going to turn out really nice uh, one thing I do think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get a bigger air pump I don't think this um, aquaculture 60 is going to have enough power to run all six of these tanks it barely has enough to run the four that I have right now 
Um, also, I do have to cut lids for these yet. I'm not going to leave these open um, because it'll evaporate too quick. And also, if anything happens, I don't want the lights falling into the tanks. So definitely got to put lids on them. Um, but basically what you see right now is how I'm going to be picking it up again in the next video. So uh, thank you guys for watching Trafish Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.